on Richard Pipewater, one of the places I first got interested in orchard was in Stihinka, uh with the Buckner Orchard. And uh, Susan's also been very much involved with that, so we have a connection through the Buckner Orchard. But I heard her speak about the Sandwith Orchard on San Juan Island in Ingla, who's off screen. And, you want to introduce uh, Susan, who Susan is? And, and, and we, listened, we heard Susan Dolan with the National Park Service speak, and we knew that she'd be a great speaker for, for today, and she was. Uh, everybody that listened to her was happy that she came and helped make the, this uh, festival successful. So anyway, Susan Dolan with the National Park Service, and she has a book, Fruitful Legacies, but I'll let, I'll let her talk. Hi, Susan. Hi. Today I, I talked about the book Fruitful Legacy, which is a history of orchards in the United States, and it relates the history of orchards to orchards in the National Park System. The National Park Service is interested in preserving historic orchards. So I talked about four periods in the history of orchards, and a little bit about national parks that have historic orchards that are being preserved today. Thank you very much Thank for being you. here. most attractive pie, Rory Foley, and this was made of Granny Smith. And now, um, honorable mention, made with gala apples, Courtney Yesfield, are you here? Smith and Golden Tango apples. Very interesting, intriguing flavor. Yay. Is Laura Jansen, and it was made from Holstein apples. It's a butter crust. She's not here, but the prize was this apple peeler. If anyone has it, Connolly, this is the grand prize made from Wealthy and Dutch Mignon, I think is the name. Those are both heirloom apples, happen to be, came from here, Piper's Orchard. Yay! Yeah, yeah, I'm Don Ricks. I've been working with the Piper Orchard for a number of years. And last week we had a church group uh, and they were helping to clean it up. And Norma was part of that group. And uh, because she loves this sort of thing, she came out this week to help with traffic. While she was out directing traffic, they announced the grand prize winner. Of and the, the grand prize winner for the pie contest happened to be Cinderella back busily working while she was out being the volunteer. I'm, I'm dressing this up, this is YouTube. And uh, and that's and it's Mama Connolly who submitted some, uh, a pie from the pie sure. The guy behind you there, Don, can tell you. What would you like to know? What's your secret recipe for your pie? Uh, pie Best of show. Piper Creek Piper Orchard. Piper Orchard okay. apples. Piper Orchard apples. Yes. <laughs> what type of apples? What variety? Crabsteins, Dutch Mignon. No, maybe no. not Crabsteins. Dutch Mignon, Wealthies. We've got a lot of the Wealthies uh, developed by Peter Gideon in Minnesota in 1870. So. And they, a lot of the original 120 year old trees are the Wealthy trees. Really? And maybe some Kings. Uh, Dutch Mignon, Kings. And one for and, another piece? Uh, because this is yours Great. right here. Congratulations. And what did you win? Okay. Oh, I won a $50 you. gift certificate nice. from Swanson's Nursery, You're welcome for okay. which is one of my favorite places. So Excellent. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. And we want to thank Swanson's for sponsoring. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And I'm a favorite. Gail, the founder. Hi, Gail. Yeah. Well, 
the, our first thing is we are starting a brand new cooking series, which we've never done before. Okay, and we've got some really it. great chefs all yeah. from Seattle yeah. who are offering, each one is offering a class for the next five Saturday mornings. And we're starting out next week with pies and pastries. Oh, great. And, and it's a great class. You sign up at cityfruit.org. So we're really promoting that. Okay, and what do you have here? You have some fruit from local um, local yards? You have some plums? Italian plums. Picked in South Seattle two great. days ago. Most of them were donated to a food bank in South Seattle. Some of them were sold to a chef on Queen Anne Hill. The rest of them were sold. And how many pounds did you harvest last year, roughly? Um, we're in the middle of harvesting still, and we're around 6,000 pounds now. 6,000 pounds, a lot of that goes to food banks, local food banks. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. They all go that way, and that's what Shady Fruit does. We make sure that our country is easier in Seattle, and Anyway. All right. And that um, realize that that is food and it's being eaten. That's great. Contacted for any trees that need to be harvested. Cool. And you have a map on your website where all the trees are at. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how many fruit trees are in Seattle, roughly, on the map? I don't know. Maybe thousands? Thousands. Thousands. Definitely. My guess Great. was 100,000. Yeah.